Hey guys. Okay, so I had an inbox question. Um, someone asking me how to do a balloon um, if they already had one that they could trace. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, here's a balloon. It's a template. We won't be making it elaborate with the with the diamonds on it, but we'll just make a simple one. Um, you also need three pencils. Um, one of them has to be sharpened, uh, the other two not so much. Um, a Husky X-Acto knife. My favorite. Frog tape. I like the wide one. Okay. And then also uh, a piece of Coroplast that is large enough to fit your the size of your balloon on, okay? So what we're gonna do first is, I'm gonna show you how I, and this was another question too, uh, they wanted to know how I created the pencils. Um, see that, three tape pencils. What I do is I'll take a ruler, okay? And then I'll measure how big the, or how wide, various ones but can you see that yeah. this one this one is measuring roughly at about half an inch um, the white border so what I want to do is I want to play with pencils until I can get um, however however much space between this lead and the edge of this pencil I want that to be the same the same uh, width as this so I'm looking for half an inch so these size pencils uh, kind of work for me. They got close. You don't have to get super, super exact, um, but I'll show you how I did this. So basically what you want to do is you want to take one pencil that's sharpened, like this one. Okay, this in this hand. You want to take one pencil that's sharpened, and then you want to take one pencil that it doesn't matter if it's sharpened or not, but you know, that's not. Okay, so. sharpened pencil this is not and then there's one more that needs to go above here okay so let me explain a little bit this pencil is going to draw the line for you that you're going to use as a guide to, to trace to, to cut your border so this one you want on the end the one that's in the middle is the one that's actually giving you the space from the tip of your point to the edge of this pencil that's how much wide that should be a half inch okay so this pencil is just here as a guide and it's gonna follow it's gonna follow on the edge we got this backwards but it'll follow on the edge here okay so that'll be a guide and then the pencil mark will actually mark it I know it's difficult to understand that right now but that's how I tape my pencils together so again this is the final one you're gonna start with your sharp one and then your next one is going to be below that mark it's got to be below here it can't be up here it's got to be below there okay and then your last one has got to be above there all right so there you go once you have that you're just simply gonna tape them together like that and we'll do that so we'll put our pencils down get our frog tape Okay, so I'm going to position my pencils here, just like that, you guys can see that, alright, okay, and I'm going to take my frog tape and I'm just going to go over the top of them just like that. Before I wrap it, I'm going to squeeze these together, press here, and press on the edges, like that. Okay, and then once that's done, come up. And that's it. That's it. So I'm gonna use this one because it's the one I always use. <laughs> okay, so like I told you guys, I am still a rookie. <laughs> so I'm forgetting stuff, um, but you also know, I mean, you'll also need uh, some Windex and a cloth. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of chloroplast. Okay, and make sure that your flutes, um, when I say flutes, I mean the lines in here. Okay, they need to be going vertical, up and down because you're gonna stake from the bottom. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna clean our board and get rid of any dust or particles or whatever. So we'll spray it with Windex and wipe it dry. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our balloon, our template, and we're gonna trace it. I try to get as much as I can or try to use as much of the cardboard as I can possibly can without wasting any. So if it fits on this side, I'm gonna trace it from this side. Right. And another trick that I use when I'm getting ready to use a template, if you notice, You can see the flutes on this balloon and you can see the flutes on the cardboard. I try to match those up so that they're identical. Get as close as possible as you can. So that way your balloon isn't accidentally tilted. So when you get ready to stake it, it'll be nice and nice and straight. All right, so we put it here. We're gonna trace it out. Look at Got that traced. And then we're gonna cut this out. So, have our, let's get back on it. And I like to start where there is a point. So there's one here. I don't like to start on my curve. I'll just try to find a point. So I'll start here. And sometimes you don't put enough pressure and you gotta come back. Okay. So now we have our balloon. And what do I what I normally do? I normally will use the other side. This is a scrap piece from before. Okay, but I'll use like the opposite side that I, that I cut on um, and double check, but you don't have to, but it's because there's, like if you look really close, you can still kind of see my pencil marks there. And because this balloon is gonna have a white border, I don't wanna see those pencil marks. So when I get ready to color it, I'll use the back side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just hit this one more time, wipe it off. And of course, all you have to do is just slightly cut inside your pencil marks and you won't have to worry about having a pencil mark line on the edge. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the edges and make sure there's not like any little, like see here, there's this little, this little guy right there. Like I want that off. So I'll get my little exacto and we'll just trim him off. All right, done. All right. Okay, so now that we have our balloon, he's all, all cut out, we're gonna tape the border. So normally I tape my pieces, um, the whole piece I'll tape with frog tape, but because the majority of this piece is gonna have paint on the inside, we're just really making the white border. I'm only gonna put tape on the areas that I want um, to stay white. So I'm gonna start here. I'll put a piece of tape there across the bottom. And then what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I put the tape on the same direction going around, but I wanna make sure that I put the majority of the tape inside the balloon, because remember, we're gonna be trimming around here. So right there 
like it's kind of thin in this little spot right there from the edge. So I'm just gonna put a little piece more right there. Okay. So now that we have our balloon taped on the edges here, um, I wanna put a little uh, shine on it, so like a sparkle. So I'll put another couple of pieces right here where I'm gonna make that sparkle. So I'll put a piece here, and I'll put a piece here. Okay, and then that's where we're gonna draw a little sparkle. So next what we're gonna do is to make this easier to fold around the edges, we're just gonna put little slits where the curves are. So I'll put one here, I'll put a dart here, um, one here, just every periodically around the balloon. So that way when you go to fold this over, it'll lay a little nicer for you. So we'll pick it up and we'll just fold those over. Here's one where we should have put a dart. So, here, here, here. Now fold that around there. Okay. All right. So that's how it should look. Okay. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to smooth my tape down. So the smoother you get it, um, the less chance for bleeding. Uh, bleeds is when you spray paint it and it travels in a crack or something, and you have to go back and clean it up. Frog tape, you will have some bleeds. Um, I don't have very many when I do it, but I do get them, and I'll show you how to clean those up as well and what I used to do it. Okay, so now I'm just making some easy down. Right okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pencil here, This side closest, okay, so it'll look like that. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to draw from here all the way around. I'm going to try to sketch it harder so you can see the line. But that's really, that's really it. You just draw a line all the way around. All right, and that's it. Okay. See that? All right, so now that we have our line, um, I wanna draw the little shine mark. So this is a freehand thing. Um, it's not that hard. Um, it's basically, you know, you're kind of following the curve of the balloon there. Need a little piece of more tape. Sorry. Okay, because I want to bring that point over just a little. Okay, so that's kind of how it looks. And I'll draw um, with marker just so you can see a little better. Um, So now what we're going to do is we're going to tear off the parts that we don't want. So all of this green here, we're going to take off. Okay, now this part I want you to watch. See, this is my point down here. When I start lifting this up, see how all that tape is coming up? I don't want that. I, I'm missing my point. So what I'll do is I'll put this down. I'll take my Husky knife and I'll put right here where that point is, where the point is, and then I'll pull it up. And then see it lays it down. See that? See that? So it stayed down for me. So that's what we want. All right. All right. 
Now again, I didn't stay on my line on purpose just because, you know, I knew that I wanted the bottom of this just to be a little longer, but ideally you would stay on the line. Um, and this one is a little off at the bottom, so I'm gonna and make that straighter. So now we have this part to take off. Okay. And then we're gonna take off the bottom, the rest of this thing. Part. Now we've got everything off um, that we want to spray a color. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and re-smooth over on my edges one last time. All right, so there's our balloon. I'm gonna pause and get some, oh, I have pink. Hey! But I need a backdrop or a, a cover to spray this on so I don't get it on the grass and get in trouble. Be right back. Okay, so now I'm just gonna move this out of the way really quick and put down something to protect the hub's bra. So we're gonna make this an orange balloon. Um, this is the paint that I use. Oops, sorry. And the most important thing, the most important thing is right here at the bottom where it says plastic. You want to make sure that whatever type of paint you're using, um, it works for the type of material you're putting it on. I like Rust-Oleum. Um, some of the colors in Krylon works a little bit, um, but I try. I, I tend to just stay with Rust-Oleum. All right, so you're gonna shake this up. Okay, so we're back, and this is all shaken up. Um, I normally spray in two coats. Um, if you spray too much paint too soon, uh, you, you, you'll, you'll tend to get bleed lines um, if you put on too much paint uh, right at the front. So like, don't try to cover up everything right away. Um, I usually just do a nice little powder coat and I'll show you what that looks like and then I'll come back in and I'll spray everything like really dark. All right, so here we go with the first one. And that's how it looks after I do the first coat. All right. So you see a lot of white in there, that's okay. Um, we just want a nice little light coat um, so that the next coat that we paint, it'll stick a lot better. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes and we'll do the other coat in about 10 minutes. Okay, so while that's drying, um, I forgot to tell you like how to measure um, when you wanted to leave the border around here. Remember, we, we measured that one to be, uh, well, this one to be like a half an inch around here. So just to test out the pencils that I had, um, I'm just gonna put a little mark here. Okay, you see that? Okay, so that's the distance from my pencil mark to my, my guiding pencil there. And then when we measure that, pretty close to a half an inch, okay? So that's how you measure if your pencils are the pencils that you're using before you take them. Because sometimes you can use a skinny pencil here and then a thicker pencil in the middle and a different size on here. You're just more concerned with the distance between the tip of this pencil and the inside of this pencil. That's your distance for your border, okay. Okay guys, we're back, it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and spray the last coat on and this one you want to make sure you're looking for white spots so you don't leave anything 
uh, like white showing underneath. The worst, worst thing ever is like already having painted something and you go to peel off everything and then right when you get in the corner, you see where you didn't touch it up quite enough. Um, it's so aggravating, um, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do it right. So here we go. Now that's the first time my paint has ever dripped from the can. And I don't know why, but it did. So I have drip marks on, drip marks on my balloon, but that's never ever happened to me before. I don't know how to correct that. Rookie in action. So, hmm, I guess I'll just, Yeah, but it dripped right off. But yeah, there it is. You see those drip marks? I have never ever had that happen before ever. So hmm. I think I'm going to cheat a little bit and try to wipe that off and then respray it. I hope I don't mess it up, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna find those drip marks and I see one here. One here. And I can already tell I made this a lot worse. Okay, so the orange one, I think I may have botched a little bit, so I'm just gonna add this one on there really quick. Here's the blue paint that I'm gonna use for this guy. And I'll shake it up and I'll be right back. So we're gonna do a light coat, a light coat first. about maybe eight eight minutes not quite ten minutes but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna touch like here and there's there's no color there so this is dry enough to put on the second coat we're gonna go ahead and do that now and hope this doesn't drip on us We'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, we're back and it's kind of dry. We're gonna go ahead and try to peel off the green tape. So that's our finished balloon, guys. And there's a couple bleed spots. I think I see like one there, and maybe one there. But for the most part, it's pretty good. All right. So now I'll show you how to clean those up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, how I clean up these little spots. Right there. That guy. And that guy. Okay. So, I'll be right back. Okay. So, we're back. This is just regular toilet tissue. <laughs> tissue paper. Um, The brand with Charmin 
I think it's Charmin Quilted Two Ply. <laughs> Not that it matters. Um, just any sort of paper, paper towel. Um, and then my crack on my. So I'll tear a square of this off. And this is the paint thinner I use. Um, this has been at my house forever, as you can see at the top. I got it out of my husband's tool shed. Um, but it's we've had it forever, and this is what I use. I'm pretty sure if any type will work. I know some people use uh, Goo Gone. I've heard that that does really well. Um, but this is what I use. But this will not work once this piece has dried, like for a week or so. It will not come off with this. Not sure if Goo, goo uh, Gone is the same way, but I, I know that the paint thinner, it only works like the same day that you do the piece. I'll just pour a little bit in the cap and then I'll take my exacto and then you can even tear this and then I wrap this around it so fold it So you have like a little, little like that. All right. Then I just dip the tip of it in there. And then I find my spot. And this should blur first. Like it should get blurry um, when you're wiping and then it'll, it'll, it'll kind of go clear. So I'll put it here. Like it's not really that noticeable um, when we wiped it and we sprayed it, so I think it kind of worked. I think it looks pretty good. That's the balloon, that's how you clean it up, and yeah, that's it. 